So Kippo and the Age of Wonder Beast is a Netflix show that I am very much into at the moment. It's kind of like a mix between I Am Legend and Over the Garden Wall because it's like a character driven show set in a post apocalyptic future but also there's a bunch of wacky talking animals. One of the main characters Wolf has a pretty interesting weapon, it's basically a stick and on the end she's attached the severed part of a death stalker which is an apocalyptic bug. Basically a scorpion's tail on a stick, she hits people with the scorpion tail, they get poisoned, bing bada boom it's a weapon. In this video I want to make a realistic version of of that. I still want to keep the weird cartoonish proportions like the long stick and the really round tail but I want to give it a more realistic texture and make it look kind of gross like it actually is a decaying part of an apocalyptic bug. I've actually already done it and here's how I did. So what you'll need is a thin wooden dowel, a broomstick or something like that would work just fine. You'll need something spherical to act as the base. I'm using a tin I got from a thrift store for two dollars. I think it was originally for storing Christmas chocolates. Who cares? It's the right size and it's sturdy. Also an optional thing you can have is a little child to help you but that is a risk as they can often be more of a problem than an actual help. Ow, ow. So the first thing I did was drill two holes in the sphere for the handle to actually go into. When I put it together I found that the holes actually weren't quite snug enough and the thing kept falling down so I put some holes in the wood and put some screws in and that kept it in place. I did a quick swing test and yes time to move on, very good. I got a piece of scrap wood and I sketched out the shape to function as the little stinger thing on the end. I was very rough with the cutting out as it's really just a skeleton and it won't be seen at all so I wasn't too careful with it. I just attached it on there with some screws and now I know what you're thinking. That looks like trash. Okay, give me a second, I'm not finished. Next I covered the entire thing with PVA and I started putting on layers of aluminium foil. Essentially this is just paper mache but with foil. I chose to use foil as it's a little bit easier to manipulate, but easier than paper at least. Also it gets some really interesting creases and grooves that will work really well for the organic skin type look that I wanted to have in the end. I did a few layers of that and then it was time to start adding some of the lumps that we see on the stinger. Now this is where things get difficult. I've talked about this in videos before. It is really hard to get an accurate representation of a 2D prop in the 3D world. I've actually made a whole video about this before when I was trying to make a weapon from the Voltron TV show. What I found was you could pause it at different parts of the same episode and the weapon would look completely different. And because it's 2D it doesn't actually exist. The animators can draw it differently to better match what's happening in the scene that it's in. The same thing happened with this death stalker tail. Depending on where I paused it, what screenshots I looked at, the lumps and hairs and stuff are all in different places. At one point you just have to say okay screw it, I'm just going to put them where I like and it's kind of going to match the thing in the end. So to make the lumps I just started cutting out a bunch of irregular shaped discs out of EVA foam. Just a bunch of weird shapes. I kind of layered them on top of each other, stuck them together with contact cement and then contact cemented them onto the sphere. Then I added more layers of alpha over the top of the bumps and now I know what you're thinking now it still looks like trash I'm not finished still just wait it was time to paint I gave a base layer of red spray paint and I actually tried to hold the can too close usually you wouldn't do this because it would form lots of blobs but I want those blobs they'll actually add to the grossness of the final look I also started adding thick layers of PVA glue mixed with different shades of red and pink the glue dries in weird shapes and kind of has a glossy look also if you get a heat gun and you apply it really close to the glue it does this cool thing it kind of bubbles and when it dries it ends up looking like gross boils or pimples or something which is it's gross it's very good. I mixed up some dark brown paint with some water and gave the whole thing a brown wash clearing away the excess and just kind of letting that brown seep into all the little creases. Then it was time for the handle now in the show it just looks like some blue rag that's been kind of roughly attached so I did the same thing I got some scrap material I had lying around cut it into strips and glued it on kind of haphazardly. I gave it a really light spray of some black spray paint as well because this thing's to look like it's living in the apocalypse. The handle is not going to be clean. Let's F it up. The last thing I had to do was add the hair and to do that I just chopped off little parts of a broom and super glued it on. And now here is the complete Death Stalker staff. Wait a minute, that's not the, that's just a link to my Instagram. How did this, this isn't the complete thing. No, please go follow me on Instagram before you see the final product. I have been going on there a fair bit more lately and putting up some stuff that I don't make videos about. Sometimes I make things that are just too little to be a video, but too cool not to share. For example, I just bought this Adventure Time sword and I'm gonna make it look real. I'm gonna kind of give leather straps and make this more of a silver color. It's gonna look cool. Not good enough for a video though, so head to my Instagram if you wanna see more stuff. And now, and I'm not pranking you this time, here is the complete thing.
Hey, if you like this video, please do consider subscribing or clicking the thumbs up button. Not many people know, but the thumbs up button actually stands for I'm gonna kill anyone who doesn't watch my videos. Little piece of trivia for you there. Also, Instagram, see this stuff and other stuff. Bye.